Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another Real Madrid preview. This is the return of the Champions League after a long international break. It feels like it's been forever since that Napoli game. However, as we have discussed, this is going to be one of the few games away from home that is going to be difficult, that's going to be tough. But it's the second last game. It's the second last game until El Clasico, okay? And so far in the Champions League, we've started off really, really well. With a win over Union Berlin. It was a late win, but we got the job done. And a tight and narrow win over Napoli as we sit top. And I think Napoli are still second, I think, because Braga did manage to beat Union as well. So, right now, Napoli and Braga have the same amount of points on three. Now, this is interesting here because I think everyone expects Napoli to beat Union Berlin. So, Napoli would go on six points. So, it's really, would Real Madrid go to nine or would Braga get up to six as well, right? So, that's very interesting. But, this group is really shaping out to be you know a three horse race in the group already so it's not going to be easy Braga you know let's have a look at how Braga have been playing coming into this game as I said Champions League wise before the international break a really really narrow but late win as well against Union Berlin and they just about lost to Napoli at home so yeah it's been pretty decent from Braga in their league in the Portuguese league they're fourth behind your usual Sporting, Benfica and Porto so they are definitely up there in terms of the fourth best team in Portugal and in the league so far they've done pretty all right they're coming to this game off of a cup win in the Portuguese Cup, I think um, they've won the league game before that, and then yeah, they've I think won the last three league games as well. So definitely coming to this game with a couple of wins. Braga, good form for them. Um, very very interesting indeed. Well, if you look at Real Madrid, the game against Sevilla was poor, lack of an offensive output, lack of creativity going forward. And it was really the first time that we've really had to talk about that this season. So this game will be a test, not just on if we are good enough to beat a side like Braga, but a test on whether we have bounced back, whether it's just a one-off, or it's going to be something that is going to happen consistently. Now of course we don't want it to happen consistently because why would we? But you never know, you never know, right? Sevilla, like I said, it wasn't a good performance. But we have to move on, you know, life, you have to move on. We got a point away from it, You some could say it was lucky. But we'll take a point, we'll move on. Of course, in La Liga, in terms of La Liga-wise, you know, teams like Girona, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona have all won their games to put the pressure. Of course, Atletico Madrid could go above us, as they've got another game in hand, and they are better in terms of the goal difference so realistically right now we are not the best team in the league but it's still very very early of course and have you seen their stadium i mean literally it is an absolutely beautiful stadium um yeah if you haven't seen it go and check it out on google go and search it up um it's beautiful it's surrounded by rocks and mountains beautiful um but yeah, we have to move on from the setback that we have had against Sevilla. We've got two more big games away before I think we take on Rai Vallecano at home. But Braga away is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And yeah, let's talk about some of the players as well. I mean, they have some good players. Um, I think they've got Hotta, is that his name? Um, Ricardo Hotta. Uh, yeah, they, they have a couple of players. Uh, 
Bruma, who scored that incredible goal last time out. Jao Moutinho is there. Ricardo Horta, Pizzi, Jose Font, Abe Ruiz, former Barca, um, Nia Kate. So, this team is balanced. It's a balanced team, but I think it is probably the third best squad in the whole group really because yeah Napoli is just better Real Madrid's better so realistically it shouldn't be much of a problem but that's what we think that's what we would think but technically Napoli did beat Braga in the first match day so you would expect Real Madrid to do the same but I don't really see the similarity um, but can we maybe um, you know get something Yes, we could. Of course, we could. But we want to win. We want to win. We want to keep winning. Of course, in the group stages, of course. So, let's talk about the starting eleven that I think I will put. You have to play Kepa. Your back four: Alaba played against Sevilla and is now back, so he's gonna play. Fergusia, I think, will play because Mandy played on the weekend, so Fergusia is back. Rudiger, and I've got Carvajal. That's the back four, right? Not really changed. I don't see a need in change except for Frank Garcia coming in. Yep. The midfield. Valverde has to play. He's just different. Tromani for the defence and the cover. And I've got Modric. A bit optimistic that Modric will play. It could be Cruz. It could be Kamavinga. But I, I just, you know, want to see that happen. Front three. Bellingham, Vinny Jr. We know it's going to happen. Izzy Hoselu, Izzy Rodrigo. I'm going to say it's Jose Lu. Simply because the presence of a number 9. That is just all I have. Of course, players like Arda Gula, we don't know when they're going to really make an impact. But let's not rush things. He's still young. He's still coming back off an injury that's brought him out for the last two months. Let's let him slowly get back. Of course, we also got players like Brian Diaz, who hasn't really made much of an impact except for that goal against Las Palmas. Rodrigo, of course, as well. So, yeah, this will be my starting eleven personally. But, yeah, it's definitely um, what I would prefer to go with. Um, because if you look at that, and if you look at the starting eleven, you can realise that it's not just a four-man midfield. Valverde can tuck up to the right-hand side. You can be a three-man midfield with Modric, Tromani, Bellingham in that way. If we were to change our shape, change our style of play. But if you play Hot, uh, if you play Rodrigo, then it kind of really, you know, changes the thing up, really. So, yeah, I've got Jose Lu for that reason. But who knows? It could be it could be Rodrigo. Of course it could be. So, yeah, in terms of a score prediction, um, yeah. I'm going to go Braga 1, Real Madrid 2. A tight, a narrow win away in Braga. Can we do that? Let's hope. Let's hope. But yeah, that would be my starting 11 and my prediction. Um, let me know where our thoughts are down below. Um, before I end off, I just want to say I uploaded a video on Real Madrid's transfer plans for next summer. Right? So go ahead and check it out if you guys haven't already. And yeah, let me know. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, drop a like. Subscribe. The gym is on already. Let me know your predictions for the lineup and your score predictions down below. And yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. Peace.